So today I'm talking about a vehicle with the P0369 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a P0369 code? Well, it's a camshaft position sensor B circuit intermittent bank one. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses camshaft position sensors to know the location of the camshaft as it spins. It uses this for timing and it's seen a problem with one of these. So it's gonna to have to be troubleshooting a why. And sensor B is on the exhaust side of the engine. So if you find the exhaust, it'll be the camp sensor closest to that side. And V6 or V8 engines have two banks. Bank one is the side of the engine with the number one cylinder and bank two is the opposite of that so to find bank one just find the number one cylinder and that'll be the side that's having the issue and some possible causes of a p0369 code well it could be a bad camshaft position sensor it could be in the wiring like an open or a short and it could be a timing component like a bad timing belt or timing chain or something that throws the timing off in the engine while not very common this does happen sometimes like the timing belt slips a notch and then it just throws the timing off so the onboard computer thinks that there's a problem with the sensor when it's really just the timing belt slipped but like i said that's not too common and it's possibly could be the onboard computer but again that's pretty rare that's not too common but, but it does happen once in a while so it's another thing to keep in mind and so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go locate the camshaft position sensor b on your particular engine and there can be some differences on exactly where it's going to be located it'll be on the top of the engine somewhere though for example here's a 2012 toyota corolla 1.8 liter and as you can see sensor b will be right here it'll be on the exhaust side so the exhaust is over here if you get a diagram for your particular vehicle and engine engine type and year then that would be the best option to know for sure which sensor it is and where it's located but the first thing to do is to go locate that camshaft sensor b and so once you locate it next thing to do is to check out the wiring real good and be sure there's no issues going on with it and the basics of what's going on with this wiring is that the older vehicles they would have two wires and some newer ones can have four wires but by far the most common is going to be three wires and the basics of what's going on with these is that when the key is in the on position one pin is going to have power and this voltage is going to vary it could be like five volts nine volts twelve volts whatever it's rated for you have to get schematics for your engine to know that but you'll have power going to one pin one pin will be the ground wire and then one pin is a signal wire going back to the onboard computer and every single time there's a piece of metal directly in front of the sensor it sends a pulse back to the onboard computer so the wiring is fairly simple if you have a meter you wanted to check it you could check to be sure you're getting power that you got a good ground and then you can examine the signal wire going back that it's all good if you do test these with the meter be careful because if you short them out it'll blow a fuse and that is another thing to mention is that these will be on a fuse and if it blows then it could cause issues so if you are not getting no power to that circuit be sure to check for a blowing fuse it'll usually be inside the engine compartment there'll be a fuse in there that you could check for this and so if that all looks good the wiring looks good you're getting the right voltages and no blowing fuses or anything like that the very likely that sensor has just failed and just needs to be replaced they're usually fairly simple to replace as long as you could get to them sometimes they could be inside of a hard spot to reach in that case it might be more difficult but as long as there's nothing in the way they usually you just use something like a 10 millimeter wrench pop it out pop in the new one and so they're usually fairly easy to swap out as long as there's nothing in the way some vehicles do have stuff in the way and make them a little more difficult you can't test the sensor if you want to there's some good youtube videos on how you go about testing out camshaft position sensors before replacing it but if you checked everything else out you checked out the wiring that all looks good there's no blown fuses you're getting power all these type of things then very likely that sensor has just failed and just needs to be replaced after you replace it just clear the p0369 code and it shouldn't come back if it does come back for some reason, I made another video on what to do if you swap out the camshaft position sensor and the error code doesn't clear. I'll put a link in the description below for that if you need to check that out. But by far, the most common fix for a P0369 code is that something's wrong in the wiring or it's got a bad sensor. So that's basically it. I just want to do a real quick video on how you go about fixing a P0369 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe and have a good day.